Welcome to the channel, I'm the Scottish Astrologer and in this video I want to talk to you all about the upcoming full moon which takes place tropically in 9 degrees 6 seconds of the zodiac sign Leo. Now to kick things off please take out your own natal charts and check to see which house 9 degrees 6 seconds of Leo is located in as this is the area of life that will be under the spotlight of the moon, so to speak. It's the area of life that should really come into your focus during this time. It should really be on your mind and you should be aiming to try and improve or maybe even repair this particular area of life, which will be highlighted by the moon. But nonetheless, this particular area of life should come into focus for you. Also, if the moon happens to land on and thus activate a particular planet, etc. on your natal chart, you must also take into consideration the particular energies of that said planet or point. In regards to the area of life, affected by this full moon. Now for those who are not familiar with the energetic influences or character shall we say of the planets and also for those who are not familiar with the meaning of the 12 houses please check out my website for all this information as this will allow you to be able to work out what to expect through this full moon personally for yourself without any help. Now I have left a link in the description box below and I always encourage people to do these things for themselves on my videos as it's a great way for you to familiarize yourself with your own chart and astrology in general it's a great way and a great method of practice so that's why i always encourage you to do this for yourself as again once you know the energies characters of the planets and the meaning of the 12 houses then you can easily interpret and work out which area of life and in what sense these certain energies are going to come into play for you now, moving on, let me get into what this particular full moon is signifying or showing in general for the people collectively, rather than on an individual level. So, the moon is actually the luminary that represents the people collectively. And as you can see here, the moon is located in the zodiac sign, again, of Leo which is the sign of leadership, ego, pride. It's a sign of creativity and it's a sign representing our hearts and our spirit. And we also have the double square aspect, okay, to the moon from the loose conjunction of Mars and Uranus in the zodiac sign of Taurus. Now, Taurus is a sign of money, finances, and material goods, or material well-being even. Now, Mars is the planet of war, strength, physicality, etc. And Uranus is the planet of sudden change and revolution. And so, as well as the aspect coming from Uranus and Mars to the moon, on top of that, we also have a double opposition aspect from both Saturn and Jupiter from the zodiac sign of Aquarius who just happen to have the sun sandwiched in between them both while obviously making an opposition to the moon as that is a must for a full moon of course the sun being in opposition so in, at each side of the sun in opposition, we have Saturn and we have Jupiter also making opposition to the moon. Now, with all these different energies coming into play during this full moon, 
this is showing an increased or heightened level of loss or challenge to a very high number of people's financial independence through job losses and closures of a lot of people's small businesses, etc. And also it's showing the growing reliance okay, on some kind of financial aid, which is obviously government financial aid, in order to stay afloat or to get by. And thus, with all this government financial aid given out just for people to get by, okay, this is, of course, taking away people's financial independence. As, again, they're totally reliant on the government for their financial situation to remain just stable and just stay afloat no more. Now, the energies involved in this chart are also showing a continued loss of certain freedoms or even material comforts or wants. It also shows a great challenge to independence and being your own boss and having full control over your own life. But also, at the same time, the energies are showing a real potent want and desire for personal independence and freedom and being your own boss and having full control over your own life. And these contradictory energies are caused by Saturn and Jupiter sandwiching the sun and opposing the moon. As Saturn and Jupiter, of course, have complete contradictory energies to one another. One rep Jupiter representing expansion, Saturn representing contraction. And if we go into the humours, Saturn is cold and dry, while the humours of Jupiter are complete opposite to that, which are hot and moist. And so with these two planets opposing the moon and sandwiching the sun uh, toward and opposing the moon in Leo, who's in Leo, of course, and as they're sandwiching the sun, which is actually the planet that rules Leo, that governs Leo. This again is creating the contradiction of a real need and want, a real true heightened desire for independence, freedom and everything else, but at the same time, it all being taken away from us. Now, on top of this, okay, as we have harsh, okay, hard aspects delivered to the moon by the two malefics, who are Mars and Saturn. This is showing that the spirit, okay, and ego or pride of the people of humanity is truly bruised and hurting at this time with everything we have all been through in 2020 and are continuing to go through in 2021. And again, this is really bruised, if you like, the collective ego or pride of humanity. Now, this chart is also reading and revealing to me that creative solutions from the people are really going to begin to accelerate, okay? Creative solutions to all of our problems, okay? Both current and to possibly come. It is truly showing the spirit of humanity beginning to rise to the challenge through all of the difficulties and obstacles currently in our way. It is also showing a kind of desire or want or need, okay, on a collective level, not for every individual, okay, but collectively, humanity collectively, this is showing a true desire or want or need for a truly organic leader, okay? Someone uncompromised, someone honest, someone righteous, okay? And someone who truly, truly works and speaks for the people and will truly fight for us. Not in the physical sense, but you get my drift, fight for us. But at the same time, there is obviously no real leaders of this caliber in sight anywhere, okay? As you are the one that you have been looking for. Let's all be leaders so we can never be led, okay? 
again you are the one that you have been looking for we are the ones that we have been looking for all we need to be is individual leaders our own individual leaders okay leading no one else but ourselves all individual leaders united in the pursuit of freedom remember divided we are conquered but united we are free and with being united and free only then can humanity truly achieve great great things now for all the wand makers out there um, this is a full moon when culminating at the mid heaven okay so just after midnight when this becomes a full moon wait until it's culminating at the mid heaven so that will take place roughly 12 ish just after midnight and when it is this is the point where you must ritually charge if you like your wand you cut the full moon before okay as again as most of you who've been following my videos regarding this topic know you cut the wood okay the branch for making the wand at the full moon before this one the cancer full moon tropical cancer full moon and you need to prepare the wand okay before the next full moon which is this full moon the leo full moon you have to have the wand prepared fully made and ready to be ritually charged under this full moon the next one after the one in which you cut it now but for more information on this wand cutting and ritual charging for more information on that I've left a link in the description box below, a link for a video that will explain all that to you. Okay folks, I think I went on enough for this video. A huge thanks for watching as always. Please like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the bell at the right hand side of the subscribe button. Until next time, take care.